gives you three more questions asked to find the domain of various functions. Right, let's look at 35, right? The domain is going to be where there's like a 1 over 0 error or a square root of a, or quartic root of a negative. Okay? So even powers don't accept negative inputs in re the real values. Right, so we have a couple of things we're worried about here. We're worried about when the fourth root of x squared minus 5x, right, we don't want it to be less than zero. fourth root, but the actual, if that's less than zero, the fourth root doesn't work. If that's equal to zero, it might be when the fourth root is zero, and that'll give us an error as well. So we need to solve this inequality. All right, we can factor this x, x minus five. All right, and not only inequalities, it's, I find it easier to just solve the equality and then do a little sketch. All right, so let's solve x. x minus 5 is equal to 0. Right, obviously, x equals 0 or x equals 5. So I know my x intercepts are. Doing a little sketch of this quadratic. It's obviously concave up, so it's going to look like this. So the problems occur here. And so our domain is everywhere outside of that. X greater than 5 or less than zero. So we could write that as the reals, not including the interval from zero to five, if you like, or we could write it as x in the reals, such that uh, x is less than zero or x is greater than five. Okay, the next one, u plus 1 over 1 over 1 over u plus 1. Right, we've got two possible issues here, right? Because we've got one fraction, which will give us a problem if it has a zero denominator, and we've got a second fraction. So, problems will occur when u plus 1 equals 0, or u equals negative 1. But we'll also get problems when 1 plus 1 over u plus 1 equals 0, right, which we can solve that for u. Um, 1 over u plus 1 equals negative 1, which means u plus 1 equals negative 1, or u equals negative 2. So these are our two places where we would have asymptotes. And so our real, our domain is u in the reals, such that u does not equal negative 1 or negative 2, right? Or it's the reals excluding negative 1 and negative 2. Now the final problem. f of p is square root of 2 minus the square root of p. Okay, right, there's a couple of places. Obviously, P is not that 
that square root is going to not give, give you the value of your value. Uh, or if 2 minus root 3 is negative, that's also going to give us a problem. Right, so p less than 0, that's, that's, a part, that's a fun problem. 2 minus root p is less than 0, is another problem, so solve this one. Uh, 2 is less than root p, or 4 is less than p. Alright, so p, which I guess p is greater than 4. Alright, so we have issues where p is greater than 0, less than 0, or greater than 4. Alright, so our domain is p in the real such that. 0 is less than p, less than or equal to p, is less than or equal to 4, right? 0 and 4 work, because square roots of 0 are fine, it's just negatives of that in Maryland. Or it's the interval 0 to 4, and I use square brackets to indicate that we can get 0 and 4, but not past that. So, again... The key thing with finding domains of functions is that we're looking for issues. And the big issues we often we see are even roots of negatives or 1 over zeros. They're not the only things that break your domain, but they're the, the most common things.